A Sinn Féin TD Owen O'Brien has defended a picture he posted on Twitter. He just forwarded on or, or liked a picture uh, depicting uh, it's depicting members of Angarda taking place in a famine era eviction. So it's a very famous um, piece of artwork about a, an eviction. But in this, the artist in question has added in uh, members of Angarda Shiakana, and it has caused a fair bit of controversy. What 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 do you make of it, Kira? Yeah, like the art I understand, I kind of appreciate the art. This is Spice Bag as the artist and he's actually sort of taken an image from this eviction on North Frederick Street back in 2018, which the Guardi did um, get a lot of abuse for. And I think the Guardi themselves came out afterwards and said mistakes you know, were made. Yeah. Um, I do have a difficulty with Ona Brin. He retweeted it and I think he said no words needed. And I just think this is a really, really emotive issue. I mean, we've heard for the last 10 days so many individuals on radio stations on television networks talking about their fear around evictions and, and talk about people overholding and the idea being that there will be more forcible evictions in the country over the next couple of months and there's going to be hostility there towards on Garda Shiakana who are in a really difficult yeah. p- position it, and it I think is, we have it to, is to their defend job to, them It is their job to uphold the law I mean, what is the alternative? If you have an agent for a landlord going along and, you know, forcibly evicting people from their home, do we say the Gardaí shouldn't be in attendance? Is is that what we want? Yeah. And I think it just feeds this idea that the that the guards are there enabling evictions and on the side of the landlords. And that's but unfair. I think that's very yeah. unfair. And I think actually it's kind of dangerous. Yeah, see, I, I heard a couple of people saying yesterday, look, you know, we all make mistakes. Uh, Owen should realise that he made a mistake and apologise. I think that misunderstands what Owen O'Brien was doing. I think Owen knew exactly mm. uh, what he was doing. It's part of, it's kind of a culture war, I suppose, that you have a cruel, uncaring establishment versus the ordinary people. And by establishment, I mean the government Government, the state and the forces of the state. Now, to me, at least, that narrative is incredibly simplistic. It's misleading, but it is a really powerful narrative and it plays very much into uh, to voters' fears, as you said. So I think Sinn Féin uh, and Owner Brin knew exactly what he was doing. Uh, it also uh, plays into a slight rewriting of history. I mean, comparing what is happening at the moment, however difficult it is, however emotional it is, to what happened in 19th century Ireland uh, is ridiculous, uh, quite frankly. But I, I, I do think Owner Brin knew, knew what he was doing and uh, I, I would be surprised if there's any apology or withdrawal of the tweet quite frankly maybe he will surprise me but I doubt it yeah I don't I don't think he will I think he's actually um, you know he had an opportunity yesterday to withdraw it and I'm sure he saw how this blew up on social media and he didn't